What's going on YouTube? Chiosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use iTransfer in order to transfer your WhatsApp and WhatsApp business conversations from one device to another. For example, from iPhone to Android or from Android to iPhone and so on. The tool is created by iMyPhone. There is a free version available for both Windows and Mac OS. There is also a pro version. And the iTransfer basically allows you to transfer between two devices. You can back up your WhatsApp conversation on Android or iPhone to the computer. You can restore a computer backup to the devices and you can even export the data to HTML, CSV or XLS. So it's as simple as that. You can do this with the program very easily and it's actually quite simple to use but they do provide a lot of information in here if you need help. So to get it you press free download here. If you have Windows you're going to get a Windows installer. If you have Mac OS you're going to get a DMG file which looks like this. You double click to mount it, wait for it to verify which can take a couple of seconds. You can skip it if you want to but it's not a good idea. Let it verify the integrity of the file and once you're done you get the application which you just have to drag and drop to the applications. Now once you open it it looks like this. It's a pretty straightforward interface it looks like this. If you press here you can sign into your account if you have the paid version. Here's the message center and of course after that you have three options here. Transfer WhatsApp between devices, backup WhatsApp on devices and restore or export the data. And of course it loads the backups in here. I'm gonna go with the first option and for the first option you get the source and the destination. So you need two devices for this. For example if I want to transfer all the data from my iPhone to Android or vice versa I would have to plug both of them. So I'm gonna plug my iPhone now. Alright my iPhone is plugged in and then my Android which is an LG running Android 9. Both of them have to be unlocked, of course, and as you can see, they are now recognized. The first one is an iPhone XS Max, and this one is an LG H870. So you can switch between them. If you want to make the Android the source and the iPhone the destination, you press here and choose between them the way you want. So then all you have to do is to press transfer, and you have to select, of course, what kind of WhatsApp you have. There are two WhatsApp versions. There is the WhatsApp Messenger, which is the normal one people use, and then there is WhatsApp Business, more for the enterprise market. In this case, I use of course WhatsApp Messenger. So I'm going to select this and it says in here read the points below before clicking continue. And it says quote if you have WhatsApp on the destination device the WhatsApp data will be erased after the transfer. Therefore back up the data before clicking continue. So what it means is that if your Android device for example already has a WhatsApp account on it with conversations and so on those will be deleted when you clone the iPhone to the Android. So if you want to keep those that you already have on the Android you will have to go to the second option here to the backup and perform a backup first. It's not my case since I don't have data on the Android device. The second point says quote to transfer your WhatsApp the program will install customized WhatsApp on your Android. Your cooperation is needed in the second stage during the transfer. What it means is that it's going to install a custom WhatsApp application to receive the information so you're going to have to allow the installation. That's basically all. You press continue and it says preparation on the source device. So it's basically going to copy everything from the iPhone, everything related Related to WhatsApp and it will prepare the data to send it to the Android device. That shouldn't really take a long time, however make sure that your iPhone is indeed unlocked because if it's not it may interfere with the process. Now this basically does a backup in the background so depending on how much data you have it may take a while but as you can see it's already jumped from 0 to 50% so I assume it's not going to take a long time. Alright so as you can see once the first step is complete we get to the second one which says preparation on destination device. Installing customized WhatsApp on your device. So this may take a couple of minutes, just wait for it to complete and once it completes it's going to proceed to the next step. So yeah, it opened WhatsApp on my device and it asks me if I want to allow it to access the photo, media and the files. We're going to have to click allow so that the data can be transferred and then of course it's going to continue preparing. So now it says process WhatsApp message data. So this will take a while because it has to process every conversation. This will also take a while because you might have a lot of data but in this case as you can see it jumps pretty fast. 95 and at this point it's almost complete and there you go that's basically how you do it whatsapp messages have been transferred i am able to now log in and have all my data on the secondary device so as you can see it's pretty easy to transfer your data from a device to another using iTransfer. so definitely check it out as i said there is a free version available as well for windows and mac os if you want to test the program and see what it can do so definitely check it out there will be a link in the description down below till the next time i'm geosnow and Peace out.